This is a video for how to go about creating the four separate woodblock pieces that you will need for activity 2.1.4 woodblock block assembly in your introduction to engineering designing class. Now within Fusion 360 we're going to start out and we're going to make a new project. So I'm going to click on new project and I'm going to call this activity 2.1.4 wood block assembly. And I'm going to hit enter. And when we get that woodblock assembly project finally created, I'm going to go ahead and click that pin button. And that pin button is going to pin that up towards the top. So I can see my activity 2.1.4 woodblock assembly project. And I'm going to double click on that. And you'll notice that we have nothing that is placed in our woodblock assembly project. It's blank. It's waiting for us to make parts. And we're going to go in and create the four parts that you see from dimensions that have been taken with a dial caliber of four existing woodblocks that you would get from the woodblock assemblies in the PLTW store. You could also try to find maybe some other blocks that are similar to this on your own. So we're going to go ahead and start out with a simple rectangular prism here. So we're going to, have, um, we're going to draw ourselves a new sketch and we're going to go into 2D um, a two point rectangle and we're going to go 1.266 wide by 3.625. So I'm going to go 1.266 and I'm going to tab 3.625 tall. We can just go back and double check and make sure we made the correct dimensions and out here we can just go ahead and say enter. And once we have this placed out here you can see we now have ourselves in the blue interior which means we have a closed sketch. We have the height and the width dimensions. We're going to go ahead and hit finish sketch and you can hit the letter E on your keyboard. You could also have clicked this up here. Let's click on our house and we're going to go ahead and place our depth dimension and within the drawing that we have we'll see up here at the top we have a front view and this up here will be the top view. The depth is going to be 0.676. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and say 0.676. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now one of the things we can do is we can start placing some colors on these to make life a little bit easier for us when we do an assembly. So we're going to go up to modify and we're going to go down to appearance and when we go to appearance we're going to see a new menu load over here on your right and let's go ahead and scroll down until we see paint and I'm going to go to glossy and I'm going to drag and drop green out here onto our rectangular prism. Let's go ahead and say save and when I hit the save button I'm going to call this rectangular prism and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and once we hit enter you're going to see that we get that rectangular prism inside of our project folder over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just get out of this just to make life a little bit easier for us. Once we get out of this we should eventually start to see that green rectangular prism show up over there. Next part we will go in and create will be our triangle. And our triangle is going to have a height and a width and a depth. So when we go to create sketch, this is going to be a simple right triangle. You know, one thing we can do when we draw the lines is we can just go ahead and just draw the lines and just go ahead and draw the part. I'm just going to go ahead and come over here. I'm going to go back to our drawing here and I'm going to put in our dimension. So 2.366, we can click on dimension. I'm going to click on our line here. 2.366. Again, these were dimensions that were taken with a dial caliber. 1.012 for our width dimension. I'm going to go right here. 1.012 and hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and say finish sketch. It's going to turn us into an isometric view. I can hit the letter E on my keyboard and automatically it's going to allow us to start to decide you know what our depth is and our depth would be up here in the top view. So I have a front view and a top view. The depth is going to be 1.092. So I'm going to come back 1.092. I'm going to hit enter. We're going to go ahead and give this some color. We're going to go to modify. We're going to go to appearance and for our rectangular prism we're going to choose a red paint. I'm going to go ahead and say close. Let's go to save. Let's call this triangle. I'm going to hit enter. We now have a rectangular prism which was green. We have our red triangle. Let's go ahead and close out of our triangle. And next part we're going to make is going to be the cylinder. So over here on the on the side here we'll see we have ourselves a front view. We have that center line showing us that this is a cylinder. Up at the top we have a center mark showing us that this is a cylinder. This would be the center point. We have the diameter symbol right here. So we're going to start out by drawing a circle that's 1.254 in diameter. I'm going to go to create sketch. I'm going to click. I'm going to go to our, our circle. I'm going to drag out. Once again we have 1.254. 1.254 is our diameter and I'm going to hit enter. Let's go to finish sketch. Let's hit the letter E on our keyboard. We are in extrude. We're going to go back. The diameter, or the, excuse me, the depth is 2.2 four five one right back in here two point four five one and I'm gonna hit enter 
we're going to go ahead and make this one green as well. So let's go to Modify, and we'll go to Appearance. We're going to drag and drop green right out here, and I'm going to go ahead and say Close. Let's hit the Save button. We will call this Cylinder. Hit Enter. You can see those four, those things start to populate because what we're going to be doing is we'll eventually be creating an assembly where we'll drag and drop these out and put them together like we're basically putting together some simple wood block pieces, kind of like what you would out of a basic, let's say, child toy kind of an assembly. Our next part is going to be next part is going to be this thing that if it was upside down this would kind of be kind of like a bridge so we what we want to do is we're going to create for ourselves a two point rectangle and we're going to do a little cut out of it so. I'm going to go in and create a new sketch, and we're just going to create ourselves a simple two-point rectangle. I'm going to kind of drag this over. Again, if you push down on your mouse wheel, this is called panning. If you rotate the mouse wheel towards you, it'll zoom in. If you push the mouse wheel a little bit away from you, it'll zoom out. I'm going to grab a hold of my, my uh, two-point rectangle, and I'm just going to click, and I'm going to come right back into here, and we're going to say that, you know, our width is 2.471. I'm going to grab a hold of dimension, come up here, 2.471. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go back to our drawing. 1.147 over here on the side. So we're 1.147 and I'm going to hit enter. Now the next thing we have to do is draw for ourselves a circle and we're going to be using the trim command a little bit. And our circle has a radius of 0.868. So we want to snap it right to the center of the top up here. So we're going to come back and remember this radius. So let's go up to our center point circle. And as I drag along, as soon as this snaps to a triangle, I want to click and I'm going to drag down. Right now it's in diameter. You know, we only had ourselves a radius dimension. So what we want to do is we're going to take that radius dimension and multiply it by two. And our radius is 0.868. So I'm going to go up to dimension. I'm going to click on our circle and I'm going to say 0.868 times two. And I'm going to hit enter. And automatically that gives us a diameter. 1.736. That's one of the ways that you can get around if you just have yourself a radius dimension. You can actually do some, some you know, math within dimensioning. Um, in Fusion 360, it's kind of a neat thing. So the next thing we need to do is we need to try to trim off what we don't need. So we're going to be trimming off the circle on the outside here, and we're also going to be trimming off this line here. And we're going to go up to the trim command where you see these little pair of, this little pair of scissors. We're going to click trim. I'm going to click. And I'm going to click. And you'll notice now that we have for ourselves a blue area. It is telling us that this area will extrude. We go to finish sketch. We go to our house. I'm going to go to extrude. And as I drag out this way, let's go back to our drawing. And up here at the top, the depth. Again, we have a front, top, and a side view. This is where multi-view sketching comes in to help if you were to take dimensions of a regular object and start making them for an assembly. The depth will be 1.147. We're going to go back 1.147. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. And right here is our object. We're going to paint this blue. Let's go to modify. Let's go to appearance. We're back in paint and glossy. And here's blue. I'm going to drag and drop blue right out here. I'm going to hit the save button and I'm going to call this bridge. You can call it whatever you wish. But I like calling this one bridge. I'm going to go ahead and say enter. And again, you'll notice everything that we need to be populated over here on the side. Now this video will give you all the parts you need to go in and create a wood block assembly from another video that I have created um, that is subsequent within this video series where you will actually be going in and dragging and dropping these into an assembly area and putting them together. So this has been a video for how to go about creating the four wood assembly blocks that you will need to create the wood block assembly for activity 2.1.4 for your engineering class.